All right, what's up guys? It's the Apex Hound and welcome to my most hyped VR game probably of all time, Farpoint. It looks awesome. We've got the gun. The actual freaking gun looks pretty cool, right? Uh, but it's actually way bigger than I thought as well. It barely even fits on my entire screen, so you probably won't be able to see the, the, the fucking gun most of the time, honestly. Because uh, my camera has to be close because my green screen isn't the best. Oh, I just pressed X by accident. Okay, we're all clear, yep. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty good, though. Like, even when I'm aiming this way, you can kind of see it. Uh, but here we go. Impulse Gear, Farpoint, produced, are published by Sony. We're ready to go. I'm hyped for this one. This is definitely my most hyped VR game. Select if you are left or right-handed. Uh, boom. No, sorry. Adjust the height to match how tall you are. I just are. pressed left-handed. I'm not left-handed, guys. How tall am I? I'm six foot four. Why does that matter? Oh, dope. How do I go back? To match how tall you are. I, I, I pick left handed. I am left handed sometimes, but for this I'm using it right handed. I write left handed. Area. I could probably play this. Shape no, I don't represents like that. The, tracking area of the camera. The PlayStation camera tracks the VR headset and PlayStation VR aim controller. Okay, hello? Hello, planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit. And that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months. But because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> uh, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy. Forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer. Named after the It's poem. gonna blow up, isn't it? Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. It's gonna blow up, for sure. Holy shit! <laughs> oh man. Wanderer, this is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the air. That's lock. awesome. Please activate your auto docking sequence. The way he comes up on that, that's awesome. The graphics are really. Roger good. that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Here we go. Man, this is fucking insane. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. Your guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're gonna need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. The sync is still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. Nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is command. Now we 
got the same reading here. No sink. We need an engineer to go out and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? That is not a useful question here. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So, please. This is going to be a bad idea. Command, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Yeah, this is going to go badly. Roger, holding position. That's us. We're, that, that was us talking, I'm pretty sure. Man, space looks fucking okay. dope. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. Okay, we can't do anything with our gun yet, clearly. Looking good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? <laughs> yeah. But for all the playground teasing, look where I am right now. God. At it. 60 yards out. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck? The hell is that? Pilgrim, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Oh no. Uh oh. Boom. Oh my god. Pilgrim, do you copy? Do you see this? We gotta move. Hurry. What is it doing? We gotta move now. Wanderer, open your outer airlock. Okay, let's move. Well, we're fucked. Eva, cut your tether. Cut it now. Cut it. Did she cut it? Come on, you gotta get down here, guys. I don't know how to get to you. Did we leave them? We just left them there. I'm pretty sure they were dead. I'll make sure everything's recording, okay. Oh, Jesus. Brace for impact. Brace for impact. Oh, my God. Brace for impact. Brace Look for how impact. fast that's going down. Brace for impact. I'm braced. Goodness, are we okay? Cass, location report now. Location unknown. Analyzing atmospheric composition. 23% nitrogen, 2% oxygen, 12% helium. Warning, 63% unknown elements. That's not good. Oh, here we go, we got our gun. Use the highlighter stick to move forward. Pilgrim, this is Wander. Come back. I say again, this is Wander Actual. Pilgrim, you copy. Okay, not getting motion sick at all from the movement so far. Let me just check some. Why does this keep coming up like this? Look at that. Just fuck off. Every time I bring up the gun, it goes, it goes up. I need to be further back. There we go.
the heck is that? Data has been found. Transferring files. Error. Visual data corrupted. Commencing audio playback. firing this. See what it's like. See what the aiming is like. Okay, you can look through the, the red dot side. Okay, how do we reload? Just gonna try pressing all the buttons here. Okay, that does something there. I don't know what that does. It scans the ground, I guess? It scans things. I just want to get a bearing of how... Okay. There's something. What is that? Anybody? It's gotta be it. Can't see what it is. I hate the way this border comes up. I wish I could turn that off. Because I know my fucking... Surroundings. I know how much room I have, but I just want that to go away. Oh my goodness! Hello? Okay. Guess we'll keep going down here. Anybody here? Assault rifle. The UEP assault the rifle is the standard okay. issue rifle for UEP personnel. It's pretty nice it rifle. It provides a high rate of fire and unlimited ammo, but can overheat. Keep an eye on the integrated heat gauge. Okay, so it can overheat. Okay, now there we go. It's fucking gone. Fuck off, camera. Okay, that camera thing's so annoying when it comes up every time. I know what my space is. Just leave me alone. The views are awesome. That was just kind of distracting me from the whole thing. Uh, but I seem to have kind of fixed it. Damn, look at this. Holy shit. Jesus, that makes me nauseous. Getting that close to the edge. Apparently, like, the, the game does play on your fears quite a bit. So, it plays on, um, on, a, on a fear of heights and spiders. I don't like either. So, yeah, this is going to be really great for me, personally. What's that up there? Okay, the aiming's pretty precise, actually. So I think it, you don't have to reload, it just it can overheat if you keep shooting too long. Let's have a look at this if we just keep shooting. There you go, see? There you go, it overheats. I don't think you have to reload. Okay, I, I'm guessing we're going up to the top of that mountain. Look at, look at how good this looks! Man, this is definitely the best looking VR game. The sky looks so real. The cloud coming out of that, that shit looks so real. Definitely the best looking game I've played on PSVR. Uh, Robinson the Journey looks pretty good, but it didn't play quite. What is this? I'm gonna shoot these just in case they come back to fucking kill us. They're, they look like eggs. So I'm just being wary. Just in case something pops out of the goddamn eggs and tries to kill us. Oh, look. No, they're, they're not eggs. They're not eggs. What are those? I don't know what the hell they are. Um, but they're there to be shot, so why not shoot them, am I right? 
Definitely uh, like the feel of this game so far. The gun feels really good. What's that up there? Just shoot that. That's part of the plane, is it? Alert. To assist holographic file recovery, please locate and scan all fragments. Press the highlighted button to scan the area. There we go. That's dope. Eva. Eva. Holy shit, that's cool. Okay, she's alive. You okay? Is I dead? Right back. What the hell you do that for? Come on. Okay. Okay, she didn't want to be brought back to life. Dr. Moon, Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, stay where you are. I'll find you. Okay, so it's a rescue mission, basically, so far. Okay. We're going into the barren wastelands here. I have a feeling we're going to get into our first gunfight pretty soon. I like the way they give the slow build-up, though. There is a nice story to it so far. They're actually not just throwing you in and making this just a shooter or a wave-based shooter like most VR games. This is a fully thought-out, story-based, linear VR story game, which is great. I said story a couple of times there, but... Definitely got a big game feel to it, you know? It doesn't just feel like another another run-of-the-mill VR game. It feels different, it feels bigger, it feels better. And we are going to go... I'm going to just keep walking towards that. That's where I'm guessing we're going, is that big-ass thing with the really realistic smoke coming out of it. That's a volcano, but... Get the feeling there's going to be some... Sp oh, just saw something. There we go, there we go. Hello? Is someone there? No. No, 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 no. The fuck is that thing, by the way? I saw a spider. I'm getting terrified now. It's like a horror game. Yep, there's one. There's living creatures on the planet. That's not a good sign. Hello? Fuck. Oh god! Let's go for it. Run. Can we sprint? Yes, we can. Sprint. Run, boy. Yeah, I'm starting to feel the same way as you, but there's one. Okay, there's our first kill. Oh god, look at the jumps they're doing. Where'd you go? Jesus Christ, okay. Alright. Now we're starting to get into it, boys. The spiders are here. Can we scan these motherfuckers? Oh Jesus! Okay. <gasps> Motherfucking bitch! Okay. Alright. Alright. We're good. Calm down. Everybody stay calm. Stay fucking calm. <laughs> Let's go up to the higher grounds here. I just saw another one. Jesus fuck! That was insane! He just jumped off the thing. I caught him in midair right as he was about to land on What did I just hit there? Nothing. It felt like I hit something. I don't know if they vibrate the controller or some shit. Oh, okay, that's weird. Okay. There's a lot of spiders around here. There's gonna be some big-ass one in here, isn't there? This looks like it's leading to a lair. Okay, yeah, the, the aiming feels so good with the gun, dude. It really does. Like, it, it feels marginally better. Th like, the move controller already felt really good with the aiming, but this definitely feels better because you have two hands on it, you're aiming it all around, you can kind of up and down really quickly, around really quickly. Everything is just a lot more smooth with the, the aim controller than it was with the move controller. I'm sorry if the camera yes. work isn't too great either. Look at this. Locate and scan all fragments. Okay, there I hit something. Incredible. You realize that G here is not a 
constant. You can actually feel gravitational variances. They must be swaying from eight or nine to like six. Watch your suit on those rocks. We don't know what kind of pathogens might exist here. We can't afford a breach. This place isn't even on the star charts. Come on. Sorry. We have to keep moving. I need to change it so I can turn the camera. Okay, that's better. Now I can turn. I'm not going to use that too much though, because that actually does make you feel a little bit nauseous when you do that. That's why they probably have it set to no turn. Because, like, I'm only going to use that when I'm facing the wrong way entirely. See, I hate this stuff in VR. I just... Oh, motherfucking bitch. Not while I'm near the fucking sides, please. Jesus, that was uncalled for, man. You came up behind me when I'm goddamn enjoying the views? Jesus! I was trying to enjoy the views, guys. Come on. How do I melee? Where'd he go? That last one just disappeared. <laughs> I just wanted to try that for the back there. I wanted to see how scary that actually was. That's kind of awesome. I'm not even gonna lie, that's kind of awesome. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. This is an awesome VR game so far. Definitely the most like fully fledged out title for sure. Robinson, the journey was like way too bugged and shit out. I'm waiting to see if there's any like real bugs in this one, but so far it looks good, feels good, and there's a good story to it as well. I say again, Pilgrim! Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back! The signal needs more power, even without the dust storm. I'm getting a low-level reading over in that direction. Over there. Could be another survivor. How far? Hard to be sure. Maybe we should stay put. Hey, no, look at me. We have enough emergency rations to get us anywhere the Pilgrim is. We are not staying here. Survivors keep moving, okay? Okay. Let's do it. It's awesome the way that they're, we're learning what they done at every point we come up to. We're learning where they went and shit like that. Through the, the little video packages. Okay. Let's have a look over here. I don't want to go that way, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, that little small step turns really handy. Because you can just kind of adjust your position quickly. I heard something. I heard something! I don't like this one bit. Oh, this is actually fucking awesome. Please don't fuck this up with some spy- what the hell? I don't know, back off. Cass, make sure you log all this. Recording. Holy shit, this is dope. I seem to have fixed that thing where the camera's coming up as well. Which is great. Okay. Is that thing following us? I think they must have rendered real skies in the game, because the skies just look unbelievably well rendered. The rest of the game looks good too, but not nah, the skies just look like a level above, I don't know. They must have done. Like what the Oh, you are fucking joking me. What the hell is that thing? Okay, okay. It's not just little spiders anymore. We got some big ass motherfuckers. Yeah, can't do anything. There's another one. I love the way I'm closing one eye as if that makes a difference. So I'm playing a fucking video game. I'm closing one eye and just going. You can't see that I'm closing one eye. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of them.
Okay, we gotta be careful not to overload. Okay, one's dead. There's another one down here. Oh, just about got that one, okay. Okay, now they're starting to make you think. They're getting smarter. They're not just running at you. They're hitting something up in the air. Oh, there's low ones too. Whew! Definitely, though, guys, if you do want to see a full series on this, make sure to drop a like. If we hit, like, I'd love if we could hit, like, 100 likes. That'd be absolutely sick. Move the controller over the ammo to pick it up. Rocket ammo. Guided rocket. The UEP assault rifle has an integrated guided rocket launcher. Use the targeting laser to guide the rockets to the designated target. The UEP assault rifle can hold a total of five guided rockets. Press the highlighted button to fire the secondary weapon. Okay. Okay, alright. Let's see. Oh, that's dope. How did that not hit you, dude? There we got rock. All right, two down. We got the mini spiders coming at us as well. I'm pretty sure. I heard a, I heard the little ones. Where'd the little bastards go? There you are, you little fucko. Hit him, rocket. Oh, damn it. It landed before him. It's good, though. We got him. Okay, we got him. They're both dead, I think. I don't know if we're going up there or going around here. I'm reckoning we're going... I don't think we can even get up there, so I I'm going to try go out here. Yeah. No, I think we're definitely going up here. We'll see, though. We shall see, Renly. Come the dawn. Yeah, the volcano's over here. We're, we, we've been going towards that since now, I think. So we're going to keep heading towards the volcano. Or maybe not. This looks like a... Oh, no, it's not. This is the right way for sure. Get fucking wrecked, boy. You got a rocket right in your face. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Come on, is that all you got? Come on, I'll take a bad shot. Get fucking wrecked. Come on. You're still alive? I thought you were dead for sure. Okay, now you're dead. Let's go. What? You can't come for the great one, boys. What the hell was that? Alright. Anybody here? Some fucking Game of Thrones type music right Partial now. Partial data recovery complete. New holographic files are available to view. Playback. All recovered files. There's our first trophy. Okay. Playback. All recovered files. What's happening? POV cam, moon, grant, day one, then 34. Is it the pilgrim? Broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found our power source. So we're playing as Moon now. Hello? Dope. Anyone inside? Come on. So is that the full tape? Now we're gonna try and go find that, I guess? They're not going to be there anymore. Nope, we're still playing. It ain't pretty, but it's sheltered. Battery packs. If we strip off the casings, we can use these to boost our signal. You prep them. I'll patch into the comms unit. 
All yours, Dr. Moon. I like the way they're doing this, telling the story through the fucking holographic tapes and shit. It's dope. Hey, something weird here. What? These batteries, they're all at 1% power. That's plenty. 1% is enough for six months. Yeah, but why are they all depleted? Hello? Sounds like interference. You're right. There's probably a shit ton of EMR out here. So how do we contact anyone? We keep trying. Survivors keep moving. Moon is starting to lose his fucking... His belief that they can make it, I think. Pilgrim. Pilgrim, this is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. Pilgrim, if you can read us, we don't know our location. We're down to our last emergency rations, but we found a HAB unit. There are extra rations here to keep us going. We're alive. Are you? Please come back. Eva. You need to take a break. We're going for hours. Here. It's the last one for my suit. Some kind of strawberry goo. Sorry. <laughs> Bucket cap was closed. It's all right. Huh? You got wrecked. That's it. What do you mean? When the pilgrim broke up on entry, it left a trail of debris just like this, right? We found one piece because we're sitting in it. But if we can find the next few pieces, we can calculate the speed and trajectory of the station. We can figure out where the pilgrim crashed. Damn, she's a smart mind. She got a fucking beautiful mind, that woman. Are you sure about this? Not very. But it's what we got. I'm gonna follow the trail of debris. You keep trying the radio. And make sure you keep the storm off. We're gonna play as her now. Are we expecting company? Keep the door locked, Moon. So we're gonna play as Tyson, I think, probably. I'm guessing because she had a gun in her hand and she was setting out looking for the next few pieces. Nope, we're playing back as ourselves now. Interesting. Okay, Eva, I'm right behind you. Dr. Tyson, if you can hear this, I'm following the trail of debris. Oh, fucking hell. How's she gonna make it through these guys? Got another trophy. I don't know, I wonder how hard the platinum is in this game. Okay, I don't like when it goes dark. Alright guys, this is where we're going to end number... Oh god, they're coming for me, aren't they? Oh, look at them. Alright guys, this is where we're going to end part number one. If you do want to see this as a series, and you want to see me do the full game, just hit that like button. Let's hit 100 likes for Farpoint part one. Um, yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. I think it's definitely going to be the best VR game yet on PSVR at least uh, because so far I'm absolutely loving it haven't had this feeling about a VR game in a long time and as you can see there the goddamn sky is going purple my dog is also chiming in here he wants to tell you guys that he loves you and uh, yeah we'll see you guys for more very very soon peace out guys <laughs>